Friday. All day. Ooh, got candy on here. Got candy. Good stuff there. Well, how's the world of Matco? It's good. It's good. We uh, had a good week. We got a lot of stuff in. The truck's probably the fullest it's been all year, I'd say. So, with more stuff coming in. So. I mean, you can't beat that. I don't know if we're getting close to the end of the year, so everybody's trying to get stuff out or what, <laughs> but that's okay. That just means we get to sell more. That's cool. I'm all right with that. Good. Make your own bundle. Something That's new. it. Uh, you know, we normally have it to where we have the bundles set up on the back wall, but uh, with the three carts there, it's it would be kind of hard to do that. So uh, there's the when you turn it, it's just enough to where it causes a little bit of issue. So once we sell one of them, we may move one around, and we may just figure out a way to make it work, but. So you got the hammered finish, a blue and gray. Yep, thunderstorm gray, the blue, and then we've got the, uh, like you said, the textured there. Uh, I went totally blank on what we call that vein. Okay. No, the vein one there. Black yep. Vein. Yeah, black vein. Looks good. Yep, they, they get to load it up however they want to. I'd gladly sell all three at one shop. That's fine with me. <laughs> I can order more. So but, what kind of bundle are you doing the, with it? Like, what's the normal? Normally what we put in there is we put some type of impact, whether it be electric or air. Uh, and then we have uh, 3 8 quarter ratchet, screwdrivers, and pry bars. Um, we try to just get you the basic in there. If we have a good set of the um, three eighths and quarter uh, standard and metric sets, we like to throw those in there. Some of the times they already have uh, an impact of their choice, so they'll substitute it for something else. And then sometimes they'll already have their sockets. So we we like throwing the ADV sets in there that have mm -hmm. the standard and metric short and deep because that just kind of covers everything. Um, Plus that they're already impact, so that way sure. you're ready to go um, later on if you want to buy your chrome. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, and then sometimes they substitute the screwdrivers out. So we just try to get you a good overall kit that that way you can get started and, and have have a good start to it. Yep. We don't we don't recommend um, buying the whole truck <laughs> right <laughs> off the bat when you're first getting started. Uh, we usually like to tell you to get started in a way that um, you're not shooting yourself in the foot right away. Right, so, sure. Um, which, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'll throw it out there, but at the end of the day, if you just insist, I'm not going to stop you either. So Absolutely. Uh, I have seen customers get mad in the past, not, not with me, but, you know, when you insist you want to buy something and they keep telling you no, then it'll make you aggravated. So I won't tell you no, but. There you go. Either way. <laughs> well, what new cool stuff we got this week so i had told y'all last week that i was getting the new impact in uh the new half inch impact mm -hmm. so i actually do have it in now as you can see it is a little bit shorter uh it comes in under eight inches uh, i think it's like seven and i tell you what i got the specs on it we'll just go by that but uh If you notice right off the bat, they have a absorber built yeah. in now. That's been a much, much, much needed thing. So the absorber was something big because everybody talks about the M18, the batteries, it breaks the screws out of the, the battery and then the battery falls off and or it, it starts losing connection. So I think this absorber here is, like you said, is much needed. Um, you can tell from the front, they do have it um, isolated we do have the three lights up front comes in at like five five point nine pounds without a battery it's seven uh, yeah seven point six inches long so it is shorter your average impact is anywhere between eight eight to nine point six on electric impact so right. that's a good bit shorter uh, two inches shorter but also you have the four speed modes. 
Uh, you have one, two, and three, and then you have the last one. The auto mode. Yeah, auto. So on those speeds, uh, on the first one is zero to 1,300 impacts per minute. The second one is zero to 2,100 impacts per minute. The third one goes from zero to 2,400. Uh, and then your last one is the zero to 2,400 uh, as well. Of course, on your last one, that's where it's sensing mm -hmm. the bolt, so it won't go wide open if it doesn't need to go wide open. I actually like that taking lug nuts off so they don't spin off. Yeah, you know? so, you know, I hear people say all the time they don't use that feature. I'm okay with that because it is sensing, mm -hmm. and like you said, we don't have to go wide open coming off. So That's the only thing I ever use it for, really, is, yeah. is lug nuts. But Yeah. Yeah, when I'm taking an, any other bolt out, yeah, right mm -hmm. away. But on the lug nuts, it, if, if you're not careful, you'll scratch a brand, <laughs> brand new yeah. rim pretty quick. Or you'll drop them and yeah. then skin. It's always going to land on the, yeah. the nut part of it, you know, where it's seen. So it looks like uh, as far as the RPM goes, first mode's 0 to 700, second 0 to 1300, uh, third is 0 to 2000, uh, and then that last one, it really depends. Uh, forward, it goes zero to 900. Uh, reverse, it either do seven to 2000 or seven to 750. So zero to 750, I don't know what I just said there, but cool. it does have 1600 foot pounds uh, breakaway. Now I am gonna throw in a disclaimer there because what I was reading uh, on it, it's zero to 1600 if you use their forged battery. So if you're using your older batteries, right. uh, it does drop that back down. So throw that out there still i mean industry leading but mm -hmm. i said we'd talk about it so that's what we've been showing this week um everybody's been talking about how it's much shorter and lighter um but as far as the forged batteries from what i can tell that even the 12 volt is going to be a lot smaller it's going to be so i'm very curious to get one of those in and see how I they need are because man those bigger batteries they get heavy well like, yeah that's the heavy, thing you know? <laughs> yeah yeah, they get uh, heavy. Um, I don't see how a person could work with a 12 volt all day. I know people do, but uh, yeah, like 12 amp, there ain't no way I'd want to hold that over my head all day long. No, I don't think there's any way I would. But uh, that that new one, from what we looked up, I mean, it appears to be about that big. So it's it's got to help in some sure. way. Um, but I, I'm curious to see, and only time will tell how that battery dampener does. I'm sure with as much um, as they've saw, it's, it's probably gonna fix the issue because they're, they're usually pretty quick about fixing it right off the bat. But Good. That's a much needed thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's been a problem since they released the 2767, I think yeah. was the first one. And well, now if we can just do something with these to keep the uh, M12 versions oh, to yeah. stop breaking the clips. But, Ears breaking off, yeah. that's a pain in the butt. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, then my stuff come in. We do. The... Where uh, we have the shirt. Uh, where's the biggest, biggest drawer? All right, biggest drawer. Biggest drawer. Biggest drawer. So we do have that. Sweet. All right. So I'll let you kind of explain that, and then I'll talk about what we're gonna do to send it to a new home. Well, it's uh. It's just one of our parts tray. We do have them in green uh, and orange. Uh, and as you can see, inside here, the little uh, black magnetic pieces, you can arrange them however you want to so that it can be bigger or smaller for different size stuff. So it's just, a, and they are stackable. So just a good overall tray. It's, it's sturdy and I can tell you they're sturdy uh, because I've had uh, an orange one back there that's hit our floor about 14 times a day for three months <laughs> so we're just seeing how long it'll go uh it ain't broke yet cool good durable tray all right guys so this is gonna be our next giveaway you can look it up online if you want to read about all the features and functions but it's m-a-p-t-p -P. it's the pink matco adjustable tray and we'll be giving that away to one of you guys so to enter the giveaway let me be very clear <laughs> like we have to be clear on every one of them, right? So we're going to do it on this one. If you didn't see you be drawn to be the winner on video, you didn't win. I don't got no Instagram. I don't got no Telegram, no telecast, whatever kind of app. People send a message is trying to get you to give them money. That didn't come from here. 
So the winner will be drawn on video. We'll give it two weeks. So what will that be? Uh, today's the 20th. So next week will be the 27th, and then the next will be the 3rd of November. Ooh. I'll be at SEMA that week. So what's the next Friday? The 10th. November 10th. There we go. We'll run it till November 10th. So to get in the giveaway, um, we'll draw it on November 10th. It'll be drawn live just like all the other giveaways. So you must be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment in there. Matco tools for the calls is a great thing. There we go. There we go. So leave in the comments, Matco tools for the calls is a great thing. And November 10th, we'll draw a winner and somebody will receive that magnetic tray. So, there we go. Easy enough. Sounds good to me. There you go. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Get subscribed for that giveaway. Down here, if you need some merchandise, code tools and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.